do you know about me? You spoke of my past, being chased by wolves. I told no one about that. Almost no one. But I certainly didn't share that with you. There is nothing I can tell you that you do not already know yourself. They trained you well, trained you hard. Chiseled away any part of you that did not fit their plan. They made you forget. Halak? You saw Gortash, didn't you? What the fuck was he doing down there? Is all of this because of him? The tadpole, the absolute. How? I'd never have protected a Bainite even a decade ago. I looked after that fucker with my life. I trusted him. He gave me away to Zariel without a second thought. And now he's looking to ruin the entire Sword Coast. He has to die. All right. And I'm gonna be the one who kills him. He can't get away with what he's done to me, to us. He won't get away with it. All right, Isabel. I can't believe it. I can't believe Aelin is here. And my father, I heard what happened, what he'd become by killing him. You set him free. You set Aelin free. And me. A great deal. But still, some of the details elude me. Ketherick Thorm is... was... my father. Okay. He raised me to serve Saluna as my mother, rest her soul, had wished. He was everything to me, all my life. When an emissary of Saluna came to our little town, we were elated. Dame Aelin, daughter of the Moon Maiden herself. Tell me, do you believe in love at first sight? <laughs> no, it sounds like you do. Guilty. The moment I looked at Aelin, I just knew I had to be with her. I was hers. That was it. Lucky for me, she felt the same way. But my father was skeptical. Aelin is immortal, after all. I understand it's strange. There's an imbalance between us, certainly. But I suppose loving Aelin felt the same as loving myself. It was natural. Then... And this is where I still need answers. I died. I'm not sure how or why. But all was black, black, black. Next I knew I was being jolted awake. I smelled musty air, I saw shadows. And then my father's face. So changed. So hideously warped. I didn't know that then. But I could see the change in him. He told me we'd be together now said that Aelin was dead. I couldn't speak, could only run. I found last light within the shadows, made a shelter there, prayed my father wouldn't find me. By the time Jahira came, I'd pieced together just enough to know I'd been dead a hundred years, that my father was the source of the horrors plaguing this land, my home. I couldn't tell her who I was. I had to protect them. And myself, no matter what. Okay. It's all out in the open now. And with my father dead, I have nothing to fear. Except for Aelin. She needs healing, rest. I'm grateful for your help, your friendship. I hope we won't intrude on your hospitality too long. But I'm grateful for a safe place to, well, just to be. All right. There you are. I have awaited your arrival with great anticipation. Come closer. 
feel my voice rattle your bones as I proclaim our victory. Moon Maiden Saluna, hear me. Ketherick Thorn, traitor, apostle of Merkel, is dead at last. My mate, Most High. Darling Isabel is safe and well. Safe and well and return to my embrace. Blessings upon the slayer of the wicked one. We are a powerful party indeed. Mm. Faerun itself trembles at our touch. My darling Isabel says we will stay allied at your side. I am pleased to hear it. Okay. Pray, ask, and I will tell. Do I not radiate with my mother's brightness, her glory? <laughs> there can be no doubt. I am of her silvered flesh, her celestial womb. Why, she already has. She has brought her sword to your side, Dame Aelin. <laughs> so mighty are her wonders, her great wisdom. Together, we will set this fair land free of tyranny and murder. Okay. <sighs> Ketherick Thorn, father of my one and only love, enslaver of Dame Aelin. Catherick Thorne never did trust me, even when he worshipped the Moon Maiden. He was threatened by my love for Isabel, by her love for me. When she died, curse the day, the hour, we each of us mourned bitterly. But Catherick's pain could be touched by no aid, no boundary. He turned to wretched Shah, the Lady of Loss, for relief. And she whispered into his ear, poisoning his mind. He and his loathsome advisor, Balthazar, lured me into the Shadowfell. Claimed they'd found someone in need of my aid. There, they trapped me in their infernal cage. I was killed, murdered, made dead over and over and over by justicias of every make and kind. I was reborn, for it is my nature. And Catherick fed upon my immortality all the while. But lo, the brute is dead. And we, we live! Alright. What's up, buddy? Gods be damned. With that parasite in his brain, father could wreak untold havoc in the Absolute's name. Should Baldur's Gate fall to the Absolute, every one of the coast cities will be ripe for the plucking. We're not just fighting for our cure. We're fighting for my father. We're fighting for the gate. We're fighting for all of Faerun. Worms Rock Fortress. All travelers to Baldur's Gate flow through it. All right. It serves as headquarters for the Flaming Fist and their commander, my father. The Absolute's armies on the march. Gods forbid a tadpole Grand Duke throw open the gates for them. Orin, I'd never heard tell of, but Gortash I know, or know of more precisely, a self-styled strategic advisor to Baldur's Gate's peers. A bit player with dreams of a leading role, the way father told it. He had no use for Gortash. I don't remember much beyond that. But where these chosen are concerned, I have a suspicion we're about to know more than we'd like. All right. And more. Okay. I was 17. Father, older Ravenguard, had just been named a Grand Duke and was called away to Elturel to help settle a dispute. That's when the Cult of the Dragon made its move. The Cult of the Dragon, a fractured religion. Some believers hold that undead dragons will inherit the world. Others worship the dragon goddess Tiamat and intend to summon her to Faerun. Okay. A ten day after father left, 
I heard a whisper as I slept. Dusk Hawk Hill, the queen of chaos awakens. Go alone. I grabbed a rapier and set out. There wasn't a cloud in the sky, yet not a single star was shining. There they were, gathered at the foot of the hill. Your head tingles. Will wants to show you what happened. In the looming shadow of the mount, five groups of five figures each encircle a lofty totem. Atop each totem, a dragon's head is carved, and a massive orb held in its mouth. The cultists chant, first softly, then crying to the starless sky. There is a crack of thunder, a gust of wind, and a dragon's white head appears in the storm. The first of Tiamat's five heads. As the maelstrom howls, Mizora's lips press to your ear. She will destroy Baldur's Gate. Grant me your soul and I will give you the power to save it. She whispers. I see. She read the terms while two devils stood witness. And I said yes. One soul for one city. She didn't. She came on order of her mistress, Zariel. Tiamat made a play for power. Zariel had other plans. That was the most Mazora's ever said. All that mattered was that she got her prize. Another pet added to her warlock menagerie. <laughs> Okay. He returned to an unsuspecting city and a wayward son with a smirking devil at his side. I tried to tell him the truth, but my mouth couldn't form the words. I'd led him to the battlefield, but Mazora had swept it clean. After, he said only one word. Go. So I did. I don't know that it was brave. I just know that it was right. The moment I agreed, I burned with the fires of Avernus and oozed the rot of Dis. The cultists choked on our poisons and burned from our flames. And when we were done, all that remained were five grayed orbs atop a pile of ash. My soul was bound, and my lips were sealed. It is the one scar I ever bore of it. You were right, of course. The new eye is a sending stone, courtesy of Mazora. She uses it to track my location and call from a distance. I could flee to the spine of the world or the depths of the lower dark and still never shake her. I don't know that it was brave. I just know that it was right. I understand. No, never. He okay. did the only thing he could. In his eyes, I invited a devil into our midst. I was a fool at best, a traitor at worst, and Grand Duke Ravenguard suffers neither. More than you know. The better question is, did he ever miss me? If he did, he missed the Will Ravenguard he once knew. Not the hell-touched warlock he returned to. Okay. All right. Let's take a rest. Curse to put my hands on everything. Ah. Uh. What do you know about me? You spoke of my past, being chased by wolves. 
I told no one about that. Almost no one. But I certainly didn't share that with you. There is nothing I can tell you that you do not already know yourself. They trained you well, trained you hard. Chiseled away any part of you that did not fit their plan. They made you forget. I chose to do that. For the mission to protect Shah's... Secrets. Yes, yes, that is an old song, girl. Your goddess cares more for her precious secrets than she does her devotees. Get to the point. When you freed me, you severed a bond between me and that dog, Thorm. A bond of pain. His, inflicted on me. When I laid eyes on you, I sensed a similar bond. You, tethered to two others, someplace distant. Let me help you remember. You feel Shadowheart's mind tug at the edges of your own. You know this sensation. She wants you to see whatever is about to be revealed. Your mind joins with Shadowheart's. Something pulls at you both, bringing you elsewhere. Aha! Uh -huh. about Salunite rites of passage, about how they would abandon their children out in the wilds and force them to find their way home. It seems that one child never came back. She was taken. What? Who was that man? You already know. Did you not see yourself in him? Do you not recognize your own blood? My father. That was him. That is him. He lives still. And your mother, too. No. It can't be. I'm an orphan. And who told you that? Your adoptive family? You are not to blame. You were young. Impressionable. They took mm. you because they wanted to break and remake you. But you are a child no longer. You are a woman. One who knows what must be done. My parents I need to save them I I don't know your parents both followed the moon maiden I could sense their faith even in a brief glimpse of the past it is a tragedy that the moon maiden's right was perverted by Shah your future was stolen from you Your parents are with your abductors. You will need to return to their lair. But be warned. You may have once thought of them as comrades, mentors, friends, even lovers. They will all be enemies now. You have been forewarned for what is to come. But not yet forearmed. Who? I was able to retrieve it before it sank too far into Shah's umbral domain. Shah is quick to discard whatever she has no use for. I think you know that well enough. But I felt it call to me as I took flight. Whatever Shah calls her own, Saluna has equal claim to. They are one and the same. Their power is matched and mirrored. Take it. You will find it useful. What do you do with it? That will be up to you. Same as before. I'll okay. need every advantage, it seems. Thank you. A debt repaid. You returned my life unto me. Now go and claim your own. 
It hurts. Sha torments you still. What a spiteful creature she is. This will not stop until you take action. See that your parents' sacrifices are not in vain. Allow the Moon Maiden to guide you at last. Alright. Saloon Spear of Night. Ooh. Saloon's Blessing. You get advantage on Wisdom Saving Throws and Perception Check. Moonbeam. Level 3 Evocation Spells. Spear and it's versatile. So does it mean can I use this one here? Aha. Alright. Alright. Uh plus it Shadow heart? I've been lied to my whole life. And I was gullible enough to just believe it. My parents are alive and I have to save them. I think a part of me always knew that. A part that Shah denied to me. Thank you, but I want you to refrain from foolish heroics. When the time comes, we'll be entering a nest of vipers. I couldn't bear to lose you. Not after everything. All right. We'd better press on for now and hope we're ready when the moment comes. But before that, there's one thing I need to see to. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Just leave it with me. Of course. I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> All right. All right. Alcin is here or not? I don't see him. All right. Let's go to the Baldur's Gate. I the don't. The absolute armies are on the march, and Baldur's Gate is their target. Yeah. So I think we are good with all the stuff that we need to do in Act Two, right? Uh, so let's go. You are about to progress your adventure. Yes. The curse has been lifted. The lands cleansed of the shadows. Catherick's reign of living death is over. Your courage has been tested, and in this at least, you have triumphed. Ooh, nice. Sergeant, if you are here, I presume Wern's Rock is secure, and preparations for my inauguration are complete. No, Lord Gortash. We were interrupted. Another quake in the lower city. More severe this time. So you came cowering to my chambers? I'm flattered, Sergeant. But even I cannot command natural phenomena to cease. 
Forgive me, my lord, but there is panic in the streets. The people are afraid. Perhaps the people would be calm if you kept your nerve. I expect better from the Flaming Fist than to run scared from a slight tremor in the earth. Get back to your duties. Duties, duties, duties. Patrolling and saluting and following and bowing and scraping. Yes, sir. No, sir. Rip and cut your throat, sir. Hmm. Your plan is falling apart, Lordling. Give me a reason not to cut you to ribbons. Control yourself, Orin. We need to focus on reuniting the stones or the brain will break free. These quakes are just the start. Neither of us expected the prison bearers to kill Ketherick. Good. We're traveling to the city. Let's make sure we give them a Baldurian welcome. I itch to peel you. To split your skin. To see your skull shine in the light. Little tyrant. <sighs> Lucky for you, I harvested a whole family of living flesh in Rivington at High Sun. They will sate my blade thirst tonight. Oh, but tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow, my blades will thirst again. Oh. Uh -huh. Shadow Heart. What are we doing? Beyond the campsite, the city waits in uneasy silence, one sleep away. Wow. Worms look out. Okay, you cannot fast travel right now. It says chest. Anything? Uh huh. Okay, nice. Traveler's chest. Okay, nice. Uh, let's talk to Jahira. Nice. It looks really nice. I should speak up. Shadowheart has found a little bit of herself again. Saluna cannot take all of the credit. She may have lit the way, but it is the cleric who took this step. Okay. That yes. speaks well of your taste. <laughs> I've heard my share of bad ballads about things I never did. If you have questions, ask. Just don't expect my answers to rhyme. It was Baal alone we faced in our time. And bad as that was, he had no elder brain for a lapdog then. Help won't come from the history books or from any old tales I can spin you. This is your story to write. All right. There. Have I fulfilled my role as your wise and wizened elder? <laughs> I've passed enough years that counting them is a waste of what remains. Already? Which is to say, yes, I am that old. Okay. Let's talk to her. Why, hello, lover. <laughs> that sounded more debonair in my head, <laughs> I'll admit. Do you need something? Poor Shadowheart. 
She's been jerked around so much. I want to believe the gods keep this world balanced, but sometimes... Sometimes I wonder. Hmm. He got his claws into me early. I was a wild kid. Brawling my way through the city. One of my mates got wind of a bit of work, guarding some indoorsy type with lots of enemies. Yeah. Like easy money. So I went in for it. He took one look at me and said I was perfect. I like that. Not like that, you know. Just... It felt like a good fit. I kept him safe. And he paid me well. Well enough to move my folks into a better neighborhood and put something away for the future. My future. I respected him. Trusted him. And he returned that trust, that respect. His life was in my hands, and I took that seriously. The whole thing with Zauriel happened so fast. I had no idea what had gone down until it was over. One minute I was in Baldur's Gate, a happy, healthy, not quite kid. The next, I was burning up in Avernus with an engine for a heart. Zariel mm. laughed, said she paid him well for my services. She'd wanted to test her new machine, and he said I'd be able to handle it. He was right. Sometimes I wish he weren't. Evil, evil bastard. Hmm. Okay, so I did a little bit of respect. Basically, because I have these uh, gloves of dexterity and I have the headband of intellect, I just reduce my dex and int and put everything else into strength. Uh, charisma, I could only get it up to 16, but plus one pro proficiency. I made him dual wielder and gave him some proficiency with like a glaive and other thing, right? Uh, the gate right. is closed. As is Casador. Casador and his right of profane ascension. An imperious soiree, attended by devils and spawn alike. Mm -hmm. A grand ceremony to honor one exalted vampiric master and elevate him to an unfathomable station to place him in a position of such esteem. The world will yearn to kneel and offer their necks. <laughs> We will kill him, but there's more to it. Think about it. It sounds like Casador, for all his evils, has gotten further than any of my kind ever have. He's on the verge of a miracle. Uh-huh. If the time comes and I can stay one move ahead of him, I'll take his place before his blood can hit the floor. Let's find out more about the ritual before we waltz into Casador's front door. Exactly. If we track down my old comrades, the other spawn, we may discover more and be finely positioned for yours truly to ascend. All right. My, my. You sweetheart. <laughs> there isn't a moment to waste. If we don't find my brethren, they'll find us. Likely with bared fangs. We should get to them first. Then we can make their pretty tongues talk. Unless Casadors change their orders, they'll be in the dens of this town seeking prey. Hmm. Already? Alright, so. Basically, I made her, let's see, I removed the dual wielder from her, so she's like a mace slayer, then mobile, and athletics, basically. 
so she can just she can just she's a killing machine basically <laughs> right moonlight butterfly 